Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my 2023 planner stack. As you can see, it is extremely simple for next year. I am keeping it simple because I feel like in the past I have overwhelmed myself with trying to use too many planners and too many notebooks. So this is it. This is what I'm gonna be using in 2023 with a big giant asterisk next to that. As you all know, I like to jump around planners sometimes. So my daily planner is the one thing that I could see myself jumping in and out of throughout the year. I did that this year. I jumped in and out of the Moxie Life. I jumped in and out of the Erin Condren Daily Duo. So I will preface this by saying that I do like to try out planners and sometimes I stick with them for a while, but this is what I'm planning to start the year with. So. I'm gonna share with you each of these planners, what I'm using them for, and how they're gonna fit into my system, and how I'm simplifying things this year round. So let me make some room here and we'll talk. Okay, let's start with this budget notebook. I'm just gonna move this big guy out of the way for now. This is the budget notebook by Ashley Shelley. She just came out with this new design on Black Friday, and I'm gonna use this little notebook just to stay on track with our finances. It's one of my big goals for 2023 is to really focus in on our savings and investing and really getting our finances in a good place. So I'm gonna use this to help keep me on track. If you've never seen one of these before, it's a tiny little book. It's a nice little companion notebook to go along with the other Ashley Shelley products. And I'm gonna show you this briefly. So we have a nameplate page here. This first page, you write down all of your bills and we don't really have a lot. This is what I could come up with. And then you have a list for annual bills. So things like Amazon Prime, uh, I use Linktree Premium, and then things like car inspections. So you put all your bills down. Then you write down your savings. I'm gonna start this in January. So this balance, uh, I'm not gonna write this in yet because it won't be accurate. <laughs> your financial goals, your purchase wish list, and then you get these pages for every single month. You write down your bills and expenses, and then you have some note sections here as well. And I think that just continues on throughout the entire book. You get quite a few of those. And then in the back, which I probably won't use too many of these, you get an overview of your debts and then a debt repayment plan. The only debt that we have is our mortgage, which was a big goal we accomplished in the past couple of years. So I won't need to use any of these, which is like phenomenal. And I'm very grateful that we were able to do that. And then you just get some note pages, which is cool. So I'm gonna use this little guy for budgeting and finances. I have been very poor at sticking to these in the past, but I really wanna stick with the savings piece, especially because I really wanna build up our savings this upcoming year. I don't have a particular goal in mind, but I would like to really increase that quite a bit. So I'm gonna use this for finances. The second planner I'm gonna use is another Ashley Shelley product, and this is her daily planner. I'm so excited to try a new daily planner this year I don't see a lot of people using this and it's kind of a shame because she's got a really cool small business where she has weekly and daily planners and some of these guided type notebooks and her designs are just really simple and gorgeous. I loved this navy with the floral this year that she came out with and all it has on the cover is 2023. Now you notice with her books that it's a hard cover and it's got the double wire O binding, which is good because this planner will not leave my house. <laughs> it is thick. I don't know if you can tell that, but this is a chonker of a planner, so this won't be going anywhere. So let me briefly show you what this looks like if you've never seen it. I did do a full review on my channel uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that in the description box. I'll if you wanna check these out and purchase one for yourself. The front of this does have a pocket and these come in your orders just some stickers. Um, these designs are on her t-shirts, which she releases from time to time. They're really great quality, I absolutely love them. Then you get a pocket to put some other stickers or receipts in, your nameplate page, uh, inspiration board, meal ideas, which I wanna fill that in, important contacts, I'll probably put some like doctor's offices and stuff, your 2023 planning overview, your yearly overview and your 2023 holidays. I really like that this is here. Then you go into your monthly spread, 
which is nice. It has lines, which a lot of daily monthly spreads don't have. I like that it's lined. This will be very simple uh, to, for me to use. I probably won't decorate this a ton. Maybe I'll use washi tape in it, but I'm not gonna decorate this planner a lot. And then we go right into our dashboard, which hers is really unique and special. And then we have our daily pages. So here you can see I did some pen testing. Most of these pens worked pretty well, I will say. Definitely some uh, ridging because I am very heavy handed when I write. The one thing you will notice right off the bat in this planner is that the weekends are combined. Honestly, that is perfectly fine because I rarely actually use a daily planner on the weekends. So I'm, I'm not upset with that. Let me flip to just a blank page so you can see. I also ordered this um, page marker from her shop. Nice to have. So for her daily pages, you get a long to-do list, a long schedule, these three boxes here, which these fit uh, like normal quarter or half box size stickers and then a note section. I just liked how clean and simple this was. Even if I don't use the schedule section a lot, if I just want a big to-do list, I'm gonna use this. So it goes all the way through December and this is gonna be my daily planner. I'm gonna use it similar to how I use it now with my schedule and to-do lists, and I'm super excited to try something new in 2023. I'm gonna talk about my Erin Condren planner next. So this is my Erin Condren hourly planner. This I use for my weekly catch-all planner and my kind of like decorative sticker planner. This is a cover from the fall seasonal surprise box. I've just left it on here because I love it so much. This planner goes from July 22 to June of 23. So I will have to purchase another one of these um, probably when Erin Condren does their big planner launch in the spring. But this is just my weekly overview. It's already starting to get pretty chunky from the stickers. I just set up my week for Christmas actually in a previous video, but it's pretty much just like my weekly overview planner. Uh, I love this. I've been using this planner consistently this year and it's just so fun. I love using stickers to just have a weekly overview. And I referenced this book actually quite a bit more than I thought I would. So it's really just my weekly overview slash creative sticker planner. And I'm gonna be using this into the new year. I'm super excited. I think I'm gonna put some holiday covers on this uh, pretty soon as well because these are kind of fall related, right? All right, next I have my goal planner for the year, and this is the Moxie Life Folio in the Luna cover, which is just so stunning. My camera's not giving the cover color justice. I'm gonna be using the companion notebooks as my goal planner. So right now in here, I just have my year-end reflections. This is the um, like instructions book where you set your yearly plans, and then you have your two quarterly notebooks. I am super excited to try this, um, not necessarily the system, but the companion notebook style for my goal setting this year, because this one is pretty cool, I'll show you. In this planner, you get a monthly page with your monthly goals, and then you get your weekly actions, and that's all that's in here. It's way simpler than using um, like the daily planner, it's just the goal setting pages. So I'm gonna use that throughout 2023. They did come out with, it kills me. They came out with a coiled version on Black Friday and I wish that they released them at the same time. I would have 100% bought that and I seriously had considered buying that. But because I had purchased this already, I told myself you don't need the same system in another binding. You are gonna use what you have. So I'm sticking with it. I'm so excited. I need to sit down this weekend and finalize all my goals. I have a good good amount in mind what I wanna do in 2023, but that's gonna be my goal setting system. This is a Hobonichi Weeks planner in 2023. I purchased this from Jet Pens. I've been seeing this go around the internet like crazy and I wanted to give it a try. So I have this in my purse as kind of an on the go planner. The pen fell out of the pen loop it's probably buried in my purse somewhere, but I'm gonna use this on my on-the-go planner. It's, I, I have tried one of these before and it didn't really work for me, but I figured if it's just like my on-the-go book and I'm not using it all the time, it might be something handy to keep in my collection. So I'll just flip to the previous week and here's what I did. 
I really liked it, to be honest. I wrote my like work and meetings on the left, any big tasks for the day on the right. On this side, I put the weather, mail, and this week. This was perfect. I loved actually how this turned out. I was really, really happy with it. And this is just gonna be my on the go little planner that's gonna stay in my purse. I don't really, <laughs> it's funny. I don't go many places, but I just wanted to try this out. I should actually cross that off because we didn't actually have our holiday lunch. It snowed and they canceled it. But I'm just gonna use this for my little on the go book. It's in English. I ordered an English version. And I'm just super excited to try something new. Again, so that, my friends, is it. That is gonna be my stack for 2023. I'll just quickly go through it again. The Hopinichi Weeks for my on-the-go planner. The Moxie Life Companion Notebooks for goal setting. The Erin Condren Hourly for my catch-all and sticker planning. The Ashley Shelley Budget Notebook for finances. And then the Ashley Shelley Daily for daily planning. That's going to do it, friends. I hope you have enjoyed this video on my 2023 planner stack. Let me know below what you're using in 2023. Did you change your system up? Are you sticking with what works? What are you doing? Let me know below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you all with my next video. Have a great day and happy holidays.